Hey everybody and welcome back to the Moto One channel. Well right now we are getting our first look at the new Lamborghini Countach. Undoubtedly the biggest debut so far this week in Monterey Car Week. We're gonna have an interview with Lamborghini's chief technical officer and show you all the details. So let's go take our first look. So we are joined here on the Lamborghini stage with Mr. Uh, Maurizio Reggiani. He's the chief technical officer for Lamborghini. And uh, let's talk Countach. This is so exciting to see this car in person finally. Most important question, why revive the Countach name and why with this car? I think what we did is not to revive the Countach like a car, but uh, to revive the Countach like a, a DNA of Lamborghini. Uh, we take uh, inspiration from the car that was presented, the concept car that was presented in the 71, that was the, what was called LP500 and was really a concept car. But with this concept car was defined completely the DNA of a Lamborghini that is still present today in our actual V12 engine. And there are some peculiarities that remain untouched from this time. One is the silhouette line of the car that defined in one single line all the profile of the car and is really something unique. And what we take from the, the concept model, for example, is the fact to remove completely the radiator from the front and in this way it was possible to go much more down with the face of the car and uh, was put the radiator in the side of the car. This enlarged a lot the presence of the car and uh, one of the most important peculiarity is the layout of powertrain that was for the first time done in the Countach and the, still today is inside Aventador. Means uh, we have engine in the back of the rear firewall we have a gearbox that is under the tunnel in the center of the car. Okay. In this way, it's possible to have a perfect uh, position in terms of center of gravity of the car. But what was done in the uh, 71 uh, from uh, the engineering of Lamborghini was really to solve also another problem that was uh, the precision of the gear shift. In the past, there were uh, every time cable or uh, beam that go in the rear of the car with the adoption of this uh, powertrain was possible to have uh, the gear shift exactly under the, uh, the gearbox, and this was much pr more precise, much more fast in terms so of shifting. So let's talk about the powertrain a bit more while we're at the, the back of the car. Yeah. 803 horsepower, we, we have uh, a hybrid setup. Can you yes, tell us uh, about that? We have, we have an engine on a Countach that is our V12 naturally aspirated, and uh, in this application we reach 780 horsepower, and uh, we have uh, 34 horsepower that came from electric machine, and uh, is able to provide an uh, a, a really a sum of power that is exceptional. Here you see a completely new exhaust system that was done on four and pipe, like original Countach, and uh, it's completely different from what uh, you see in the last year, where we have uh, a statical end pipe, and here we have really a naked uh, solution where you have tube on tube, yeah. really thin, really spectacular. And the other important point uh, is related to the fact that we have a huge diffuser and also in this case, here we made something that really inspired the old Countach. You have a naked components where you, you see as much as possible the, the rubber of the tire. Sure. And also here you see that everything is naked, everything is open. This is really uh, something that uh, take the heritage of the, of the original Countach and introduce in this uh, Countach LPI. 800-4. How similar is it to an Aventador in terms of proportion, it stands, length and width? I think in terms of uh, uh, main dimension, uh, Countach take from Aventador the most important dimension. We increase a little bit of the, the front and rear track compared to the other. And what is important is clear that here we adopted a supercapacitor. That is a system that is uh, completely new. It's positioning here in the uh, rear uh, firewall of the car. And the supercapacitor lives close to the gearbox or where is no, it? Uh, we have power? a supercapacitor that is where we storage energy and we have one electric gearbox, electric uh, uh, engine that is on the side of the gearbox, yeah. is connected to the gearbox and is able to put energy, mechanical energy inside of the propeller shaft, uh, secondary shaft of the gearbox of the Countach. Can you point out some of the other specific design highlights that are unique to this car and I think, how you tied it to the old car I think well? uh, here we have uh, this transparent roof uh, that uh, take inspiration from what was in the past of a periscopio used uh, 
we, we reinterpret it in a completely different way. You have a photochromatic glasses where through a button you can have uh, um, darkness or lightness of the, of the glasses and this generates this kind of shape in the rear of the car. The other important point is really the side knock yeah, yeah. that was in the car is really this. And is, th this is probably the easiest part to point to, to compare yeah, it to a But also, also if you see here, there is a, this sharp fin that are typically of the first car. And we have also some elements like uh, what I mentioned before in the rear, also the shape here. This, this shape here, if you see the previous Countach is exactly the same design and is an inspiration, much more modern, but they take uh, heritage from the previous uh, Countach. So 112 units in total. 112 right? units because, because of a the uh, original project of the Countach was called LB112. Right. And uh, this is a normal engineering project. And we decided to homage this car with the same number of volume that will be produced uh, for this. Car already sold out. And, uh, so these are already spoken for, all of them, all yes. 112 units, wow. Uh, yes. Are we able to see the interior? Do you know uh, what's unlocked by uh, In this moment, no, because I don't have a key. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, this is really a Otherwise technical issue. Away, but right? I don't have a key, but... Uh, uh, interiors is also, uh, there are some peculiarity like the new instrument cluster, new air vent made out of 3D printed technology with a completely new te system. But uh, I can say that uh, the, the most important feature is clearly in the exterior of the car where every part is new, every part is made out of carbon fiber, also if it's painted, but this gives really a, a perception of how innovative is this car. The, the powertrain with the, the CN, how similar is it? Because that has a super here, here we have 10 horsepower more in the thermodynamic engine and we have a different calibration of a um, supercapacitor, means we use in a different way the power in order to give much more smooth uh, shifting behavioral compared to the CN. Okay. Uh, any other things you want to point out with the design? I guess the only area we haven't talked about yet is the nose. Yeah. The very, very front. Uh, Do you know how, is there a nose lift in it? Because no, it's so it's, it's a, this is really a, a standard nose. Yeah, the nose is gorgeous. The, the carbon fiber front splitter is absolutely beautiful. Um, are the, the headlights shared with anything else? Or no. It's completely unique. It's completely new. Last question. I'm sure everybody else has a ton of questions, but what's your favorite design detail on the car? I think uh, this is clearly uh, one of the fastest uh, and, and the most uh, uh, better explanation of the Countach, but I think every single detail for me is part of the process that was really to guarantee that we have uh, a unique piece of art. Well, here's our first uh, look at the new Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4. 112 units, 800 horsepower, and uh, sort of the send-off to the Aventador in a really unique way. Uh, Mr. Reggiani, thank you so much it was my pleasure. for taking us on this tour.